Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can log on to www.jcbrolabs.org. In this video, we will learn uh, how to simulate a binary frequency shift key that means BFSK in MATLAB and that too using simul. So, open MATLAB. Uh, before going to the uh, simulation part or designing part, let's have a uh, quick look about the theory of the frequency shift king, uh, specifically binary shift king. In binary shift king, used for the transmission of a uh, digital data over the channel. So, our data or the baseband data is in the form of 1 and 0. In BFSK, uh, we use two, two different frequencies like f1 and f0 for transmitting one we use one uh, one frequency says f1 and for transmitting zero we use another frequency say f0 and f0 and f1 can be related by this formula like we have a simple carrier wave and f1 is uh, uh, something higher frequency and f0 is a lower version of the frequency or we can also use simply two different frequency like a cos omega 1 and a cos omega 2 t that is purely depends on the user so now let's uh, design this uh, simulation in matlab open simulink by typing the command simulink in command window uh, new simulink library browser will open up create a model and save it with FSK we need to have we will be requiring two uh, carrier sources so first we'll select two source two different sine waves and let's have for one let's say we are having a, a 500 frequency and sample time is 0.001 and apply ok for another say we have 100 hertz 100 radian per second and sample time is now we need to switch in between these two frequencies for one uh, we need to uh, transfer first sine wave this one and for two we need to transfer seconds another sine wave so we will be requiring a switch so in the search uh, bar here search for switch and select the simple this switch and here uh, for simulating a digital signal we will be selecting a pulse train uh, we go to the properties of the pulse strain yt equals to 0 and equals to 1 so the amplitude of this pulse strain is 1 or 0 so for this switch we have a threshold value if uh, input value is greater than 0 it will go to uh, uh, this condition 1 and if it is uh, less than 0 it will go to condition 2 so we will set because our amplitude of the pulse strain is 0 volt so that will not be uh, that may create problem so we will select threshold to 0 0.1 and then apply this middle one will be go to the pulse train this is acting as a source for switching and this one for f1 frequency this is for f2 frequency so if pulse train our input is 1 switch will be connected to this part if pulse strain or our input is zero switch will connect to this uh, frequency source so uh, through this method for different different frequency component uh, for different different uh, bit stream like either one or zero we will be transferring uh, different frequency component over the channel now for visualizing the result we will use a scope and to be the safer side we will be changing this button to the simulation and let's run it okay it is still not some okay there is some problem here go to the pulse strain property 
oh we have set the period 10 let's say period of 2 seconds and pulse width is 50 percent then apply okay now we have clearly seen higher frequencies lower one higher one lower one okay so for make it more clear let's use a mux here to visualize both the signal at the same time so commonly used blocks mux if you have some doubt how to put two different way two different signal on the same scope you can uh, see our previous videos in which we have discussed it and the another portion we will be connect will, will be connected to pulse train and then to the scope so this purple color uh, this purple color line is was showing the bit stream 1 or 0 i think it is not clear so let's change the properties of this graph go to the settings uh, select this style and then properties for line 2 this is the color and let's say it has 2 uh, still it is not clear let's say it's 3 uh, now it's visible so this purple line is showing bit stream higher one one bit zero one so for one we are sending higher frequency and for zero we are sending low frequency so i hope uh, you have understand how to simulate uh, binary frequency shifting in matlab using simlink so that's it for this video thank you